Welcome to uh, Goshen Farm. In a few minutes, we're going to uh, start the tour of our shallow water wildlife pond, and the uh, sharing garden will be conducted by Bob Nestrick. But before we start, we wanted to thank the person who led the effort that culminated in the shallow water wildlife pond, and that's Larry Jennings. And he used a grant from Unity Gardens. We certainly want to thank them for their support and providing the resources. But Larry gathered up the volunteers and did the back baking, breaking work of planning everything that went in around the garden. So we have this certificate of appreciation for Larry. Larry, thank you very much for all your efforts. And it reads, for your hard work and dedication to the design, procurement, and planting of native species plants to enhance the shallow water wildlife pond. Through your efforts, it is now a complete ecosystem for fowl, fish, and native plants. Larry, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you, Lou. It was really an opportunity. I loved and enjoyed the work the entire time and able to learn a lot through it as well. And now we can hopefully share that with a lot more people. Yep, thank come you. on up and see it. Thank Great, you. thanks guys. Bob, it's all yours. <laughs> thanks, Lou. <laughs> thanks, Larry. I um, actually we probably swing around here in just a minute and take a, a look at the uh, shallow water pond. And fresh water, of course, is, is vital to our local plants and animals. Um, the pond supports a number of uh, beneficial insects, which is really uh, great for our garden because we need them to eat the pests. In particular, the pond hosts a uh, variety of dragonflies. Uh, one of the benefits of having dragonflies is they eat a lot of mosquitoes. And uh, they did a great job for us last year, and we're looking forward to having them back again this summer. Um, the pond also uh, supports, as we said, fowl. Unfortunately, uh, right now we don't have any ducks uh, in there, but they were here a little while ago. Um, also, we've had some, you know, some others show up. We've had the great blue heron show up. Uh, we have a number of hawks as well in the area who take advantage of the uh, the animals who come to the pond. And also the native species, as Larry mentioned uh, before, the native plants, uh, they are vital to our insect population. Uh, that is what they feed on, is what they lay their young on. In particular, the milkweed, which is native to Maryland, uh, which uh, supports our monarch butterfly, uh, which I believe Larry talked about when he did the monarch uh, way station. Um, but the native, um, the native milkweed is really vital to them. Uh, it's much better than the, the wild milkweed that uh, does grow around the farm as well. Um, so we'll walk into the sharing garden and uh, take a look around. This is our Goshen Farm Sharing Garden. We have 60 plots, and uh, in order to uh, have a plot, you have to become a Goshen Farm Preservation Society member. Uh, one of the benefits of being a member, uh, besides being able to rent a plot, is that uh, you come up and enjoy the 22 acres that we have. You can stroll the grounds, enjoy the, the birds, and uh, all the wildlife that we have here. Um, in our 60 plots, uh, all of our garden, all of our garden plots are actually rented right now, um, but it's a great value. Our membership is actually a great value. It's $35 for a year from a family membership, and if we have a plot available, it's $25. Uh, the plots, uh, once again, it's all organic, and we have all the tools available uh, that you have. All you need to do is bring up your plot, your plants, and take care of the plot as we go along. Um, as I said, everything is organic, um, and one of the things I've encouraged our gardeners to do is to garden year-round. Um, in particular, uh, a number of our, our gardeners have done that, but this is uh, the plot that I share with my wife, and we overwinter our vegetables, and I encourage everybody to do that. You can actually garden year-round. You don't have to just stop gardening in the fall and pull everything up and, and not come up. Uh, we've had our um, arugula, lettuce, we have garlic, we have carrots, we've had rutabagas that my wife just pulled. Uh, and we basically ate salad all winter uh, up until it got really cold and, and couldn't come up. 
So I've encouraged our gardeners to do that. All you need to do is cover the plots up with some polypropylene, a 12 row cover, and uh, you can actually have your greens and save a lot of money. Um, it really is a great way to do that. Uh, as I said, we have 60 plots and we grow a variety of things here. Um, everybody, we go every year from just greens to we've got peas and also some people even grow some sorghum and okra. So it really goes across the board. Um, I think what else you have to put in. Um, but it also, it's, it's, you know, at the garden you can actually, it's a great way to socially distance. Um, you know, as you come up to the garden, uh, the plots are spread out. And uh, you can once again enjoy the grounds after you're done uh, tending to your plot. 